What is up, guys? Orbital Pilot back here once again in the world of uh, War Thunder, and this time taking out the BF 109 F4. I am uh, training to do some matches that I haven't played in a while. Uh, I actually went up and tried to play some tier 5 matches, and it's just been so long. I I didn't even have like the muscle coordination or the reflexes to land any uh, any shots. So grinding out for the um, the F100 Super Saber, I'm looking at that right now, but I figured I should probably for a couple days drop down to some, to, you know, some slower paced uh, gameplay. So in this game, you are going to see me kill some people, but um, you're also going to see me miss like 700 million shots. So if you're wondering why, um, that's that's the reason I'm, I'm playing low tier, trying to get some of my muscle reflex back. Um. But before we kind of talk about the plane a little bit, this is something I've done a lot on the channel, uh, this this plane in general. But I did want to talk about the um, the quality of the video. I'm actually trying out an Elgato. So I'm actually running a full high graphics and everything, and the quality should be far, far superior to what it was before. Uh, granted, you know, 60, it's, I didn't lock in, in, wow, sorry guys. I didn't lock in into any FPS. Uh, but it should remain a pretty stable 60, 50, whatever, somewhere around there. Um, the only thing that is slightly annoying is that I am playing on college Wi-Fi. And if you guys have, you know, been to college before, it's not always the best Wi-Fi, even if you go to a, a technology school for some reason. Uh, but we are getting fiber here pretty soon in the dorms, so it should be a little bit better. So, you know, if this game, you'll notice, like, my, my ping sometimes goes a little high. That's why. Uh, and it makes shooting incredibly annoying and difficult, but it's something I have to live with for a couple more months. Um, so yeah, let's let's go on to the plane a little bit, the BF109 F4. This is actually, if you ask me, my favorite plane in the game. There's a reason I always come back to this one, specifically. Um, you know, sometimes I spend a couple months, you know, a couple weeks away from the game. This is the plane I come back to fly. Uh, it's, it's a truly incredible plane. Um, you'll notice it has good power. It has the ability to put on gun pods or to not put on gun pods. Uh, personally, I'm a big gun pod fan. You, in my mind, you can't have too many guns on a plane. The Fock walls are perfect for me. That's why I love it. Um, but yeah, so this has, uh, what is this, 7.92? And you know, tiny kind of worthless machine gun. And then I also have uh, three cannons loaded out. Um, they all do have actually air target ammunition, which is incredibly nice if you're going for some of those, uh, you know, long range shots or, or some of those quick little shots. Don't get wrong, they're nothing. They're, I personally prefer the Hispanos. I like the fire rate of the Hispanos a little bit better. Um, I also think they're just a more fluid gun. It's a little bit more accurate. These guns are a little slow, fire rate a little slow. Um, I also think the velocity of the actual round is a little bit slower and it's really noticeable in some of these dogfights. Um, now up ahead we see a Mosquito and a BF-109, which is so, so weird to think about. But yeah, American BF-109 and a Mosquito up ahead. I'm actually gonna go for the Mosquito here in a minute. Um, but yeah, no, it's been a couple months since I played top tier matches. I was you know, kind of jumping around subjects. But man, the F-100s and the MiG, the Russians, you're flying an F-86, even an F-2 Sabre, it's weird not being the fastest one around. Granted, you've you've had the MiG-17 and stuff for a long time, but it's it's weird not being able to compete at the top, you know, kind of top level. Um, but going back to the game, as you can see, this is kind of where my ping jumps up. I do apologize about that, but it's only right here. Yeah, War Thunder ping is the most strange looking ping ever. Uh, and I, I don't know, I don't know if I look like that to them or if only they, I, I don't know if it goes both ways. I actually should know that considering I'm a CS major though. Uh, all right, so Mosquito up ahead, I'm gonna put it into a climb. And now I think he actually gets an attacker spawn point. Uh, I'm not sure if it's as high as a bomber spawn point, uh, but he has some serious altitude. And if you let a Mosquito live, uh, your your bombers are not going to have a great time. And although bombers very kind of rarely win the game, at least in RB battles, uh, it's something to take care of. And it's it's kind of an easy kill. And for someone who's trying to kind of get back on their game with guns, uh, yeah, it's it's a very helpful thing. Um, 
it's sad actually because I used to I used to be so precise with my guns I like this this is like I'm recording this in, in post obviously uh, and it's so it's hard to watch myself because like it, my gun accuracy is not there yet but it should be there in a couple of days or so um, it's it's kind of quick to come back it's, it's a long time to train yourself uh, it's not a long time to get it back so luckily enough I think in a couple of days it should it should kind of be maybe not tip-top shape but it should at least be back to where it's not physically painful for me to watch myself so going back down the german teams typically are quite a bit more uh, productive than the american teams sadly enough that's something that has gone back since i started playing and that was years ago truly i don't even remember when i started playing i think it was four years ago somewhere around there three i i don't remember um but yeah, F4U, he jumps on my tail. Now, actually, he may be more maneuverable at some speeds than me. Uh, but this BF109, the reason I love it so much is that it's kind of the king in everything. It has great firepower, a great climb rate, especially if you don't equip those gun pods. And not only that, but it has an incredible, you know, it dives pretty well, 400, 450 miles an hour. It climbs really well, has great engine performance. Keep in mind, this is fully upgraded. Um, it's been literal years since it's not so I don't quite remember the uh the unupgraded performance but yeah no the BF109 is kind of a king at everything and that's really why I love to fly it now you'll notice I took some shots at that guy normally I, I wouldn't do that but um considering I did blow off his tail earlier in the game I don't feel bad for uh, putting some more rounds into him so going back down uh we have a P38 and F4U I actually make that just a P38 as well as a B25. Now, you know, remember I said the German teams are kind of uh, more productive than the American teams. Sadly enough, that seems to even stretch up the top tier. Uh, take some shots at a P38. That should have been a kill. Um, you know, me a couple of years ago would have died if, if he had seen that. But flying back around this plane, as you can see, even at high speeds, is incredibly maneuverable. Granted, the P-38 is not at the at the top in terms of maneuverability, um, but at certain speeds, the P-38 is very maneuverable, and I'm able to just turn inside of him all day long. Take some more shots into him, but sadly enough, my teammate does go and take him out. So, with uh, with not much left of the game, I know this was this was not the most you know crazy top fuel of the line um insane match ever but it, I, I thought it was a good uh, beginning match to kind of get things going again i also really wanted to see how the quality came out and i think it's a lot better actually i think this will be the some of the highest quality video i have put out so let me know in the uh, you know comments down below guys what you think of uh, the new recording setup do you like it better do you like it worse um Personally, I think every I don't know why you would, you know, not like it as much. But, you know, people are weird sometimes. So, guys, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.